Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're taking a look at another demo that's currently available on Steam as part of Ludo Naricon. This is Duck Detective, The Secret Salami. Again, a very different tone to the last game I played yesterday. This is, um, I think it's more of a, you know, traditional point and click adventure type thing. I think it's, I mean, as the name suggests, I expect there's a bit of a comedy element to it. Uh, I think, um... The impression I got from the, the Steam page was maybe it's a bit more like um, something like Tangle Tower, or maybe we're a bit more uh, of a, a detective, a duck detective, if you will, but someone who's rather than solving like traditional point and click style puzzles, maybe it's more, you know, deductions and solving cases and stuff. It did have a note flash up just as I loaded into the demo saying this is quite a short one. They re they suggested around 10 to 15 minutes of playtime. So we'll, we'll play to completion. Uh, we won't rush through, I guess, uh, as it's quite a short one. We might stop and smell the roses a little bit. Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember... Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Deductions. Oh dear. <laughs> we love a pun on Boring Dad Gaming, as you know. Deductions are a vital part of detectives' work find a clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Uh, enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. Okay, we like a detective game here. So for instance, uh, the nest egg. Okay, I can never give this around. Spent his last money on, so we could There's last money on rent. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to look around and try and solve this case. Uh, where's the control? Yeah, it's got like a little sort of paper cutout thing for the characters, which is kind of cool. They do flip direction as they turn back and forth. Um, so I won't stuff. be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> Well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. No messages. I love the way that chair span as he uh, went past. Okay. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. <laughs> okay. What's this? <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. Poor duck. Okay. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Maybe what else I can sort of interact with physically? Um, we could go... What is the... So if I press tab... Spent so, person, the duck detective spent his her last money on. It's got to be on bread. The duck detective. <laughs> uh, not my proudest moment. <laughs> but the toast helps me to forget. I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. Lies. You have to believe me! Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, have you speaking to the duck detective? Let's discuss this in person. Now. Be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of Fair Bus Office. Some sort of 
rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Okay, let's have a look at stuff. Not much about the cars. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Definitely down. He's a definitely a down on his luck duck, isn't he? Hello. I'm staying here until I get my money back. Bear bus? <laughs> More like scam bus. You uh, sound unhappy. You bet I am. Their stupid buses always arrive late. I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning. And they don't even want to give me a refund. How much did you pay? Um, too smart. <laughs> It's about the principle. If we speak to them again, is it pretty much the same? Yeah, pretty much. I think everything we can... <laughs> in case we believe. I think everything we can examine is, is pretty much highlighted all already. We don't need to search around too much for other this stuff, I don't think. looks like it'll worsen my depression. For instance, I don't think there's anything up there. To look at. I can already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. Can we knock over this bin as well? Yep. <laughs> we can knock over every bin. What about this one? Yep. <laughs> What if we try to go in? Server room. It's locked. Oh, okay. Oh. Let me just kick over everything. It's quite Frank Drebin. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Um. No. Then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from Bearbus. Who hired you? Um. I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. Hey, I'm just going to have a quick look at the audio options. It feels like the music might be very loud. It's good, but like I don't want it obscuring the dialogue, so we'll do that. Okay. Use the magnifying glass to find clues and then press E to uncover them. Okay. Oh. Tear. Sad. Oh. Keychain. Boy band. K pop fan. And we got name tag. Last name. Wintheimer. Are we done? It's cool it changes when you put the... Yeah, okay. Uh, so if we go into tab, let's have a look at reception. Uh, people, do we not know her name? Okay. Is feeling sad because people has something her name. Let's see if we can find out anything more illuminating. It's Sophie's birthday next Thursday, just saying. First name Sophie. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way from my desk. I reckon someone forgot her birthday. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. What else are we missing here? Birthday. Yeah. Sophie's birthday. Okay. These are quite mundane. 
I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. I should be able to deduce her name now. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. Enter their first and last name into the slots below their portrait. Yeah. Uh, well, I think she's probably Sophie Wintime. I think, I think she's sad because someone forgot her birthday. Let's have a look at... So it's September. Smiley. Happy. Seventh, is that today? It is today. Giraffe. Tomorrow is Friday. I need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. Okay, it's going to be... Sophie is feeling sad because nobody has remembered her birthday. Ah, that's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. It's locked. Of course it is. This office is for employees only. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? I wonder if they started with the deduction pun and uh, went from there. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. Adding this to the case files. Office key card. Very nice. Okay, probably getting hit now. The stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. Oh, this is the last straw! Fredersen needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, <laughs> the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. Lunch theft. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Inspecting the crime scene will be important too, but this is a demo. Oh so wow. you'll have to wait for the rest of the game to be made. Thanks for playing. It really was short, huh? Wow, I thought we'd get to look around this area and that would be it. Anyway, I thought, I, you know, given that it was quite short, uh, I did quite enjoy it. Um. It says uh, on the Steam page that things aren't what they seem, so it, it looks like it might be for a younger audience at first glance, but it sounds like maybe there might be sort of hidden depths to it that maybe uh, mark it out as not so. Um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, it's something I'd, I'd probably play on the channel, I think. Uh, I, you know, I love deduction games. Anyone who's uh, watched Boring Dad Gaming before knows I love, uh, love a bit of a detective title. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, though, in the comments. And uh, if you could hit the thumb, thumbs up button if you enjoyed it as well, which I hope you did. That's always very, very helpful. And if you're watching this and haven't subscribed yet to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So I'll just say uh, thanks very much for watching once more. And I'll hope to see you again tomorrow for another Ludo Naracon title. Uh, Bye for now.